Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Today's day 21 in my daily routine of recording a coding bat video as long as schools are closed. Um, I won't say this every day, but going forward, we're into our new section, and I'm going to actually record a, a version from, or a problem from strings one and a problem from list one every day. And the reason why is because I really want you to appreciate how lists and strings are similar in many respects. So this problem is first last from list one, and this is the Python solution. Given an array of ints, return true if 6 appears as either the first or last element in the array. The array will be a length 1 or more. So if we look at this, we see 1, 2, 6, and that's true because a 6 is at the end. 6, 1, 2, 3, that's true because there's a 6 at the start. And in this case here, we have a 6 neither at the start or the end, and that's false. So just before we kind of dive into this, if I have my list called nums, and I put some values in here, I don't know, 1, 2, 6. Similarly to strings, we think about a length in indexes. So this is indexes 0, 1, 2. So what I need to do here is I need to check if the first element at index 0 is a 6 or the last element at index, in this case, 2 is a 6. And we'll have to generalize this for a list of any length. So what we do here is we are first going to pull out the length of the list. Um, beginning programmers, I always encourage them to do this because it kind of makes your, your lines easier to read a little later, but we create a variable called x and we take the length of nums. Then we say if nums at 0 is equivalent to 6, or if nums at x minus 1. And this is a big idea here. The idea that the last index is always 1 minus the length minus 1. It's 1 less than the length. And we check if that's 6, and if that's the case, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. If I hit go, there it is. Now, like I say all the time, it's always fun to try and one-line these. So let's just one-line this. And the indicator here is the fact that this if statement, if it evaluates to true, we return true. And if it evaluates to false, we return false. So what I can do is I can take this if statement here, and I can actually just return it, whatever it gets evaluated to. Now, you might notice one small problem is that I have this variable x because Remember, x, I stored the length of nums in x. So if I want to one-line this, I have to say length of nums. I have to actually calculate it manually there. And there we go. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.